Eat something, bitch. What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see right here in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen today, your boy RDR is doing a first time on the channel, Captain D's Paws Mukbang. A Captain D's Paws. <laughs> a Captain D's Mukbang, okay? Uh, so, yes, I've been wanting to go to Captain D's for a good <laughs> grip pause because. I've been very curious about this uh, this franchise. Now, from what I heard, it's very similar to Long John Silver. Everybody knows that I'm a fish whore. I definitely love catfish. I uh, haven't been to Long John Silver's in a good grip since my story time, like last summer. But I definitely wanted to try out Captain D's paws because I wanted to see what they were talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we got here today. Uh, I got some unsweet tea over here. Here, I got these... Um, Butterfly shrimp, butterfly shrimp and uh, clam strips. Butterfly shrimp and clam strips right here. I don't think I've ever had clam strips before. Let's see what they butterfly shrimp is talking about already. Then also I got some chicken, chicken, uh, chicken strips or whatnot. I want to see what the chicken is about too. Nice breaded up chicken strips. Put that shit over here. It's like a faux piece. Oh. And uh, then, of course, I got some tartar sauce. Um, I don't know. There's some more tartar sauce right here. Ketchup on that side. And then I wanted to try their new Big Fish sandwich or whatnot. It got some fries over here and uh, more butterfly shrimp. And I wanted to see what this Big Fish sandwich is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this puppy right here. Take this out the basket. You know what I mean? Let's see what this God damn, my bad. Big bitch right here, boy. Look at that. Look like two pieces of the hand battered fish. Um, yeah, let's see what this is about. You know what I'm saying? Okay, don't give it to this bitch. Okay. Or let's see how I'm going to do this funky bitch right here. Mm. And today's video is it's going to be a chop talk video. So uh, I was thinking about because so many people, you know, been telling me that they love the chop talk videos and everything. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I like that because I'm uh, trying to get you guys more into the direction of the future of here of the beautiful RDR Food Reviews channel. You know what I'm saying? The franchise. Because uh, the story times. I, you know, I try to spread them out at least like once a month, but people, they want them so badly. I'm afraid that I might end up just doing all the story times in one week and just go ahead and get them the fuck out of the way. You feel me? But that's neither here nor there. Uh, so, first order of business in today's uh, Chop Talk video is a prayer. <laughs> Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. And bless those who grow hungry as I pray to you. Please find us something in your holy, gracious, mighty, glorious name I pray. Amen. I love you, Father. All right, now. So, let's see if we can get a quick thumbnail in this motherfucker. Let's set it off. Oh, yeah. If this is your first time coming to my channel and looking at my content, again, my name is RDR, a.k.a. Roberto Del Rio. And this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only do food reviews. I do mukbang story story time, sometimes challenges, versus videos, etc., etc., etc. If you like what you see at this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you hit that like button, share, and if you don't, hit it with a thumbs down. And I appreciate you coming by. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a quick thumbnail. Kill me. Boy, that Carolina Blue Texas fit is murdering and I know it. Okay, first order of business. Let's talk about the Grammys. They gonna think I want a Grammy. They gonna think I want a Grammy. Yeah, man. Last night was the the 61st. I think Grammys the 62nd. It don't fucking matter. The, the Grammys was last night. And um, yes, man. I actually watched the Grammys uh, just to see what was going on. And man, hold up. Shout out to that girl, Cardi B. Sugar won, um, let me see, win solo, first solo, 
first solo. Oh, she was first solo woman to win a Grammy for best rap album. And uh oh, I can't lie. I've only heard bits and pieces of uh, Invasion of Privacy, but it was a one. You know what I'm saying? And she definitely deserved it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna talk about this shit here, man. This shit didn't just happen to Sugar for winning. This happened to everybody. The damn Grammys, every time somebody won, you know what I'm saying, they would not let these niggas have the opportunity, opportune time to just get out their speech, you know what I'm saying? They kept on cutting the music on it. <laughs> that shit was so, in the words of my girl Tamika, disrespectful. Nigga, these niggas was disrespecting the shit out of these artists. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like so throw, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Cardi B had a nigga dying laughing, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that people love so much about her is that she's so real. Sugar, for real, she said she was so nervous, you know what I'm saying? She's talking about she should have smoked some weed. You know what I'm saying? But, shout out to Cody B. There was a lot of niggas that I say, in my mind, should never won last night. And that's probably why it's so much big fucker about the Grammys. That's because niggas be getting robbed. <laughs> niggas was getting so robbed last night, bro. But it is what it is, and it was what it was. But like I said, shout out to Cardi B. I was crossing fingers all night. That's right. I'm a Drake fan. My boy was nominated for a lot of stuff. I just clam strips. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever ate at Captain D's before. Pause. Butterfly shrimp. Before I go back into the chop talk, let me tell you something, bro. Let's go for any restaurant. You just like to tell. <laughs> If you got a fast food chain or a restaurant and you got a drive through right? It's all about location, location, location for everything. For good service, good food. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I bring up that is because if you got a fucking drive through right? And I'm pretty sure everybody done been through this shit before. If you have a drive through and that bitch is by a highway or a fucking interstate. Why didn't you think that fucking shit through? Do you know how difficult it is for us to hear these niggas talking low as fuck? Or for them niggas to take our order with cars flying fucking by 80 miles an hour and shit? It was one of the most difficult things ever. You know how pause, how hard it was for me to order this shit after on an interstate, you know what I'm saying? East Dallas and Mesquite. How fucking cars is flying by 90 something miles an hour and shit. You just like, and this little motherfucker here, pause, that was taking this nigga that was on the phone was talking low as shit. Like he was trying to tell me a secret. <laughs> Come on, cuz. Y'all niggas did not think that shit through. So, anyway. So, besides that, yeah. Not only did Cardi B get speed up. Like I said, that was a segue to my nigga Drake. He made a trill-ass speech, man. A good-ass speech. Letting people know that regardless if you don't win or something... You know, even though you don't win and stuff, you're still a winner. If you get nominated for something. Like, don't feel bad if you didn't if you didn't win. You've already won. If you got people coming to your shows, 
You know what I'm saying? Coming through like towns, like three or four towns just to come see you and shit. You know what I'm saying? You've already won. You've already won. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel bad just because you don't win some stuff. So you don't know how many people have never been to a concert before. Or, you know, baseball games and stuff like that. To do whatever it takes just to see their favorite anybody. YouTuber, so, you know, celebrity, uh, rapper, whatever. He niggas cut this nigga off when he was in when he was in the mode. He was, he you know he had everybody move. He hit the music on this nigga. Let me show wrong for that shit, bro. Backtracking, this chick. I don't know who the fuck she is. I know me don't do this shit, but. I don't know if y'all know who this chick is. Let me know in the comment section if you know who the fuck Joy, what is it, right? Joy Villa. This nerd here. Mmm. Whoa, boy, that chicken. I mean, not that chicken, but that fish. I ain't front. That fish, that batter, man, tastes very, very similar to, uh, respectfully, the Jawan John Silver. Okay, so it has two big pieces of fish on here, heavily battered, whatever I think maybe beer batter or whatnot. Then it's got lettuce, uh, maybe some tartar sauce. Let's see what this is talking about. But yeah, this chick named um, Joy, Joy Villa. Mm. Oh boy, I like that. I like that a lot. Pause. Let me show you what this chick wore. This motherfucker here, this cheerleading ass bitch, wore this on the red carpet, Cuddy. The red carpet. Fucking at the Grammys. If a bitch wasn't looking for attention, she definitely got it. Why? What? Whoa. Come on, man. Sugar, don't you think we've heard this shit enough? We hear it everywhere. It's on hats. It's on mugs. It's the fucking Grammys. Why you gotta come throw politics in this bitch, man? You should have wore that shit to the State of the Union address. I guarantee you, you would have got much more attention. But I'm moving along, Cuddy. In other words, changing gears. <sighs> this nigga, this nigga from New Orleans. His name is 27-year-old Philip Lee. Philip Lee. This nigga here tried to rob Popeyes, right? This is true. Cut he tried to rob a Popeyes. The bitch boy nigga did not get the fucking first <laughs> Yeah, man, the nigga couldn't get the register open. So you want to know what this weak nigga did? That nigga said, well, fuck it. Since I can't get the fucking register open, I'm going to steal some chicken. <laughs> Just like a nigga. <laughs> nigga said, I can't let all this beautiful bike go to rush. I hear niggas right now. You're not supposed to eat the tail. Bitch, I will eat the tail if I want. Pause. This is my show and now I do what I want to. Yeah, this nigga here couldn't get the fucking register open, so he stole fucking chicken at the at, at the fucking pop up. He like, I'm gonna leave out of something in this motherfucker. So they got that nigga for simple robbery. So, again, they probably done laughing at this nigga in the fucking day room. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And it was what it fucking was. And the sound is hitting.
If you are, uh, um, because I know it's coming up soon, if it's not, maybe it's this week. Like Lent and all that stuff like that. I will recommend you go to Captain D's and try this uh, Big Giant Fish Challenge. It's A1. I'm so highly recommended. Fucking clam strips. Okay. If you think I was throw, listen to this shit here. <sighs> this chick, she ain't got no name, right? This chick here uh, in the Bronx, in New York, this chick here was mad because this Jamaican restaurant ran out of beef patties. And I had beef patties before from a Jamaican restaurant, and they're okay, you know what I'm saying? But nothing to get yourself worked up for, you know what I'm saying? Not her. Sugar was so mad that these niggas had no beef patties. The bitch went home, came back with an aluminum bat, and busted out all the <laughs> busted out all the fucking windows, all the bumblecloud windows, nigga. Bitch busted them hard. The bitch went Gary Sheffield on this Jamaican restaurant just because they didn't have no motherfucking uh, beef patties. No Jamaican beef patties. And the thing is, they can't even, they, they could they only had a picture of it and they can't find the bitch. So listen, if you in New York, in the Bronx or whatnot, hey, Y'all better have them motherfucking Jamaican beef patties because this shit, this chick right here, she ain't playing no games. You better have what she need or she gonna be fucking blacking out y'all shit too. Be careful. It's a crazy uh, Little League slugger on the loose out there. <laughs> Lastly, oh, this was fun. Well, I love doing chop talk, boy. How many of y'all used to watch the show One Sister Six Apart? I know I did. Couldn't wait to see that show, especially. See free, free. Oh man, I don't know where you at, baby, but I love you. I knew you had that nigga AJ. Anyway, this nigga AJ, he had moved on to Greater Pastures. Went over there to Extra, right? Extra TV. He even cleaned himself up, cut off his fucking uh, dreads. Well, when he took his ass over there, he been over there for a good grip. Oh, how long that nigga been over there? He been over there for a good grip. Turns out, he had three allegations of sexual assault. And I'm not laughing about the sexual assault part. I'm laughing because this nigga's corny. This nigga, as soon as he leave, and he go over there to ETV to make some good-ass money, he go over there fucking around, sexually assaulting chicks and shit like that. Can't take niggas nowhere, bro. This nigga him admitted that he did this shit, bro. <sighs> AJ. Why couldn't you be like Terrence, man? How can you be like Terrence? I know the nigga over here looking crazy. Because he can't fucking keep his hands to himself. See? If he was still on BT, that shit would never happen. As soon as he tried to do some crazy ass shit like that to free, man, he'd got his ass bitch slapped. You feel me? 
Uh uh, boy, get, get away, boy. Who the fuck his ass up? When you think you know a nigga, bro. Oh, man, this is fun. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, one last bite. Just making a bite. Uh, shout out to my boy, Justin Fast Food Pissed Off. It's back in the food review game after his hiatus. I'm gonna his little spot I'm glad to see you back, bro. Food review community, just the food community, period. I'm glad to have you back. Shout out to my boy, uh, my also shout out to my boy Snoopy Eats 408. I love you, bro. Y'all go subscribe to my boy Snoopy's 408. Give him more love than you ever gave me. Same thing with Justin for Fast Food Pit Stops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all right now. That, everybody, is my Captain D's Pause Chop Talk video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video again, hit it with a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button. A notification button, notification button, so that way you get the latest and greatest and new order your food reviews and videos. When you're looking for merch, it's at the bottom, tsprings.com. I'll let your boy, very affordable. Got all the nice t shirts, eat some bitch, chop it up Fridays, order your mafia, etc. So, anyway, if you don't like this video, hit it with a thumbs down, don't matter. I'm gonna love you like I always have. It's your boy, oh, yeah, did, I, did I say it already? Did I say my nice, my nice, nice phrase? Yeah, and remember, food is a gift, so please give thanks. I'm signing out of here. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night, a wonderful day. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I will see y'all very, very soon.